Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Harrigan and I'm coming to you from my basement because we can't be in school together yet, but we'll be back together soon. While we're waiting to get back to school, I'm going to read you books during the week so that at least we can be together in this way. So today's book looks like a really springy book. It's the first day of spring and it's called Bear's New Friend. Now Bear has a lot of friends. He has a mouse and a hare and a mole and a badger, but he makes a new friend in this story and I wonder who it could be. Let's find out. Bear's new friend. In the woods, in the sun, on a hot summer day, Bear feels an itching to head out and play. He woke up from sleeping all winter long. He's not hibernating anymore. He wants to go out. He's awake. He goes to find Mouse, his littlest friend. But just as Big Bear heads round the bend, there's a clatter in the tree. Oh, what could it be? And the bear asks, who? That's a question you can ask during the story with me, okay? Every time we get to that part, you can say, and the bear asks who. Bear calls, isn't that Mouse who hides up in the tree? But Mouse scurries up and squeaks, it's not me. Bear scratches his head. Who's hiding up there? Mouse shrugs his shoulders. Perhaps it is hair. Remember, hair is another word for rabbit, not like the hair in your head, but the bunny rabbit hair. Can you hop like a bunny? Mouse starts to shout, come out, friend, come out. Here's the question, ask it with me. And the bear asks, who? Nobody answers. Who is it, asks Bear. They peek in the tree, but nobody's there. Bear cries, no one's here. But where did they go? Then Hare hops along and says, howdy ho. It's not Hare and it's not Mouse. Something sped fast, going fast, fast, fast. Here's the question. And the bear asks, who? Can you ask that question? And the bear asks, who? Hare says, let's go follow. To see what we see, bear says, is it Badger? Who else could it be? But there by a log with gopher and mole, Badger is peering into a deep hole. Do you think somebody's in that hole or something? What kind of animal could live in a hole? Come look if you dare. There's someone down there. Here's the question, ready? And the bear asks, who? Bear says, it's not us, but who is it then? I know, says Badger, it's Raven or Wren. Those are two of Bear's friends that are birds. But Raven and Wren flapped down from the sky. We saw all our friends and thought we'd fly by. So is it Raven and Wren? I don't think so. Up from the ground comes a rustling sound. And the bear asks, who? Who are you down there? Who is it, I say? Why stay in a hole? Why hide the whole day? Why don't you like us? Why, 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 why? Then a trembling voice says, because 
I am shy. Hmm. Have you ever felt shy before? You don't want to talk to somebody or you want to be really quiet? Stay by yourself? I know I have. <gasps> Two eyes peekaboo. And the voice says, who? And the bear says, hi. Look at those eyes down in that hole. Somebody's feeling shy. But Bear was a nice friend because he says, hi. I'm Bear, howdy ho. That's Mouse and that's Hare and Gopher and Mole are standing right there. Next to those bushes sit Raven and Wren. Come swimming with us in the pool by the glen. Please do not hide. Come on outside. Then an owl says, Who? 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 Do you remember when we learned about owls? Hello, I'm Owl, and I'm sorry I hid. I'm just a bit bashful, and that's why I did. Bear says, hello, friend. Come on, cries Mole. And then they all scamper off to the old swimming hole. So now we know who it was saying who. Who was it? It was the owl. They splash and have fun in the hot summer sun with Bear's new friend. All the friends are having fun, just like we'll be having fun together again soon. I hope you enjoyed the story, and I'll be trying to post a story at least once a week so that we can continue reading together. Bye!